Oh, heck yes, Joker, let's go! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the Yaki Ham Sandwich channel, I'm Yaki. Before we start anything, Grunt wanna talk to me and the elusive man wanna talk to me. Last time I learned that when you talk to the elusive man, sometimes he will send you to a mission that I cannot get back to the Normandy. So to be safe, I will talk to Grunt first. Alright, I think he is Port Cargo. If I remember it correctly, yes. Hello, Grunt. Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. I just brought you More to a so mission. Than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to. I don't know. Oh, okay. Whoa. See, why do that? What's wrong? <laughs> you have no idea. You're a Krogan. Mm, that seems insulting. Um. You have no idea? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords, but this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. Oh, I'm okay. Tank born. What is this? Let's ask the ship AI. We need a Krogan's opinion. Report to the doctor. We can go to Tachanga and see what was going on with you. Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Chanka. That's where we're going. I ask you to go there. I will control this. We will go to Tachanga. We'll Joker help you. Us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. Of course, I man. I like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. It's fine. Everyone have problems. We're just gonna get through it. It's all right, man. It's cool. Okay. Um, we will talk to Thane too because um, I haven't talked to him. Hello there. Do you need something? Just want to talk. Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. I do. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppel Syndrome. Keppel Syndrome? What does that mean? Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. Aww. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Stop saying that, I don't like it. What exactly is the problem? It's not a burden. My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Why can't there be a cure? Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Ah. Uh, what does this mean? This shouldn't be a problem. Uh. Then don't live on Kaje. Or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Okay, uh... Can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me. This won't affect my performance. I, I'm not even worried about his performance. I want him to live. Because he's my part of my crew. I care about my crew. Now we can talk to the elusive man. Just in case he sent me off somewhere odd and strange. 
Let me see if I can upgrade anything else. Oh, hey. Before... Okay, hold on. Biotic. Yeah. Do that. Thank you. And... Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Now we can talk to the loose man. Alright. What you want, man? Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Uh, Torian stable. How are Torians investigating? How did you... I want to know all three. Okay. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Of course. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Okay. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. <laughs> Send me the coordinates. We know that. Care. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. All right, here we go. That is a we big have a visual ship. on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Don't know. We're so tiny next to it. Holy crap. Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Thanks, Joker. You the best. Damn. Look at how small we are. I'm nervous. All right. How are we even gonna dock? Ah, okay. That makes sense. I guess we're just going right through it. I picked Grunt just because he's itching to fight. So it'll be nice for him to get out and help me shoot things. And I picked Tolly for this mission. Alright. Never seen a ship like this before. Well, now Looks you have. Like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected. Just because they're like stink bugs. The collector <laughs> Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Okay. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe okay. the missing humans are on it. Right. Unless they're dead. Uh, I really don't like bugs. These are the same as the containers on Horizon. Yep. But these are empty. Small, like hmm. my tank. Bet they begged for mercy. <laughs> what happened Did here? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Jeez. Lots of dead meat. They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. Maybe they're better off a bad way to die. We can't help them now. <sighs> I don't, <laughs> don't want to say any of that. Can't help them they're now. They're dead. Nothing we can do. Keep moving. It seems so heartless to say, but like, what, what else can we do here? Ugh. Okay, let's keep going. I thought there was something in there. But nope, there's nothing in there.
Oh. Why is it bubbly? Seven thousand five hundred. Oh, hey, let's get some of this. Okay, before we press anything. All right. What is that in there? That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Why? Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. Quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure, the Protheans. Wait, but they were extinct. The collectors are Protheans? My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd, but their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Are you sure about this? You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. This is a horde fate. This, this, this shouldn't change the dead. Better off dead. Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No oh, species man. should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. What, what, wait, what? Th that's just what we just learned. I I'm still getting my heads around it. Look on the ceiling. So the Reapers. Oh, those strange pots. So the Prophet is working for the Reapers. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Ah, that's good. Don't want them to be alive, anyways. Sure, I didn't miss anything. Okay, what is this? I'll take it. Yep, whatever it is, I'm taking it. Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. Okay. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something mm. doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. Oh gosh. I'm scared. This is like playing a horror horror game. Something is gonna pop up and start shooting us, huh? Whoa what that's big. Yeah, Big's what the heck is this? Systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Whoa. Well, they're not targeting Earth because they're not moving. <laughs> What's there that? on the platform? Looks like some kind of control panel. Okay. Should be dead collectors. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the data banks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Whoa, that is a lot of data. Uh, that can't be good. Yup, he's watching! Shoot. Oh god, now what? 
What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back out now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Oh no. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. Ah. Well, we're in the trap now. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Who? who? Oh, thank you, Grant, picking up Tolly. Connection reestablished. I need to finish the download before I can override any system. Who you people? You better get it done fast, Edie. We've got incoming I see that. Weapons ready. What is this? No combat drones. I'll take some. Oh, I hate those things. Uh your destiny. We are superior. Ah, yes, you superior. This fragile I'll put them down. Okay, um Pain is an illusion. That thing needs to die. He is very, very freaking strong, dude. I know you feel this. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> Against us. Okay, let's do that. Man, I picked the wrong team, dude. Should have picked Jack. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, this. Okay, that guy, that guy, that guy needs to die. Right there. Can get a shot at it. Ah, damn it, he moved. Okay. Are they are they AI turned significant into ally? Are they like I don't know. They can soften them up. Okay. The the thing will deal with it. deal with it. Am I getting it? Okay, let me see. What what do I have? What else do I have? I have that. Take that. There you go. 84%. 80, get it down here. I am simultaneously ah. collector firewalls and over 8,000 nodes. I am passing to capacity. He's kind of far, so. More coming. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm not obeying you, never ever! Why won't you die? Okay. He's so strong. This hurts you. <laughs> if I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. And never! Okay, now. How do I get that, that, get that dude over there? Oh, sh- Holy- Okay, 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 okay. I've got no shield! <sighs> Ah, uh, daga, daga. Alrighty, um, took a shield, right? Oh, damn it! I will direct it personally. Okay, cool, man. He, you dead, bro. Okay, how do I get that guy over there? Oh, 
strong and he shoots some weird like laser beams or what the heck come on there he dead whoo that gave me a sweat <laughs> okay 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 I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. Ah, good work. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. Why? What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. Oh. oh it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? Mm. What should I say here, guys? I want you to say he betrayed us. Don't jump into conclusions. Yeah, why would he lure us to a trap? That's sus. That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. We should have known this would happen. Cerberus can't be trusted. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need oh to God. Get before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. I thought Edie couldn't say something like that. Like, she can't say, like, elusive man is not helping me or, like, deceiving me. I always thought that Edie was, like, on his side. Around the corner, take the door on your right. <sighs> Grab that. Probably will need it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run, run, run. Whoa! Impact. That was fast. Shot. And then... Oh my god, there's so many of them. Uh. <laughs> that guy. Ah! Got one. Whew. Okay, I wasted that on that thing. All right. On the ground now. That this gun jumps. Not my favorite. Okay. Uh, give me this. Let's go for a rest run. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't fall now, Shepard. Okay, it sounds like people are screaming. Get ready to fight. No, I don't want to fight. Okay, let's throw some of that. No, don't assume no control. I don't want. Uh. This is what you face. God. Wait, actually this. Deploying ah. combat mode. Nice. Good job, Grunt. That's how we do it. Okay, now. Uh. Okay, let's keep moving. Ah, jerks. <laughs> Okay, let's... Okay, what... Gosh. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Do that, John. Nice, good job. Uh, let's do that. Oh. Oh god, I thought that was uh, one of them. 
collectors. Don't do that. Did I get it? Nope, I did not. How about this one? God damn it. Yes. Stop that. Uh, nope, warp. Because someone said a uh, warp helps with the shield. Nice. Oh my god! How many are there? Do I need to keep going? Oh no, now the husk is coming. Shoot. Okay, that, that burning husk? What? Abominations. Holy crap, it's a blowing up one. Damn. Yeah, they really like, like, experiment with these people. Where do I go? Oh, there's one right here. Screw you, man. Where would I go, ED? Oh, this way, this way. I think. I'm not, I don't know. That's just where we came from. Where do we go? Maybe... Maybe this way? This way, this way, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. All right. Uh. Man. Go get him, Patika. Good girl. Patika? That's the name. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's get uh, this gun going. Ah! Die! Okay. Oh, okay. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Grunt. No! No! No, I ran out! Dang it! Dang it! It's not a good time to run out of things! Okay, uh. There. Come on! Uh. I need cover! Ugh! So much going on. Die, God. Why won't you die? Okay, that should help with the collectors. Okay, now. All right, all right. He is so low. Damn barrier! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Do I? Ah, man, my meme is low. Run, 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 run. Okay. Okay, run, 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 run. Help me, help me, help me. Combat Ooh, power cell. Uh. Okay, one, one more shot. Run. Okay, I, I'll cover it. No! Just die! Oh, thank God! <laughs> Damn! Alright! Edie, we got a problem here. Oh, a temporary setback on firewall 3217. Okay. Rerouting commands to firewall 7164. Hey, down there. Is that where we came in? We must be getting close to the exit. Yes, yes, yes. Press this. this is interesting. Okay. Alrighty. We, we, we're good. Oh, oh no, we're not good. We're not good. Not good. Not good. 
We don't even have cover. Yeah, right on your ass. Uh, blowing stuff. Yeah. Woo! Oh, damn it, damn this. Dude, they're too far. Okay, uh... I keep coming, direct control, because... We love being controlled, man. My attacks will tear you apart. Oh well. I'm still here! I'm still here! Come get me! You cannot reason. Okay, let's set the drone on him. I kinda like that, the drone kinda distract him. Which is nice. Okay, let's use warp to get his shield off. Yeah. Die! No, I tear you apart! See that? <laughs> what the heck? Get out of here. Look at how I tear you apart. Oh, what, what the hell is this? Oh, it's this m m some of them. What are, what are those? Oh. Impact shot. Nice work, Grunt. Okay. Ah, damn it. Things. Of all the things I dislike is one of these. They're so freaking strong. Oh my lands. Okay, let's go over here, guys, 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 guys. On the ground now. Right. Come over here and then we'll walk oh not walk. Work our way up. Okay. It's a little dark. I can't really see what's going on. But that's okay. Neutralize Commander Shepard. Neutralize Commander Shepard. Like never. Okay, let's... Move. Okay, this, this thing, this thing. Okay, now Grunt, you're right in there. And then you send a that. And hopefully I'm far close enough to throw one of those things. Kinda hurt, I think. Hell yeah! Freaking a! Yeah, you die. Commander, I hate to rush you, but those weapons are about to come online. Might want to double time it, you know, so we can leave before they blow the. You know what? I'm trying so hard right now. Oh shoot! Oh, you want some of that? You see that? You see how I fight? I can punch too! Look, look, look at me! Okay. <laughs> okay, woo -hoo! Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, guys. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Now you're fine. Alright. <laughs> okay. Does this keep coming, man? Oh, God. Just die! Holy crap! Okay. I, I wish I have something that, like, would just blow them all away. Ugh. Do I just run? Oh god, just run. Just run, 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 run. We're so close! Come on! We'll make it! We have to go! I know! You heard the man. Hopefully Grunt got that uh, fight. You know he said he's itching to fight. He got a fight. Strap in, people. I'm gonna make him work for it this time. Oh heck yes, Joker! Let's go. <laughs> I can't dodge this guy forever. He to get us the hell out of here. Anywhere that's not 
here. <laughs> We're good! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Yeah, what's going on, man? Try to kill me? Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Yeah. What the hell's going on? Cut the act. You set us up and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Okay, you Agreed. said all that already. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You infested me. Why lie? You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I know, right? I needed the collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. How? Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I could have died, bro. I have found another way. Uh, what did we learn? Uh, what's more? What, what's more important? Okay, no. What? What did Just we learn? Tell me it was worth the trouble. It was. Edie confirmed our suspicions. Okay, and what? What is the it? Reapers and collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. The hell's an IFF? Uh, a little too late for that info. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Uh, okay, and... A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. A uh, brown dwarf? Are brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Okay, disabling I Reaper. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Okay. Um, another dialect ship? I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier okay. going forward. <laughs> Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. Christ. I don't like him. It's his eyes. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector data banks. Necessary risk. I still don't like it. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. That kind of 
can't be right. Uh... Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Hmm, Sovereign did. The collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? Yeah. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Uh... We need to build our team. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Of course we're gonna stay our team. There's still a bunch of side mission I need to do. Stick with building teams. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Man, that was stressful. Let me go around and see if anybody else have input. Over here and talk to Garrus. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You okay. remember Sedonis, the one yes. who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. Alrighty, Garrus. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Okay. Betrayal. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told mm. them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job. Then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. I'll do it. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Of course, we're about to go into this crazy suicide mission. Yeah, we gonna deal with everyone's dying wishes. <laughs> I am glad you came. Yes. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. Take your time. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Investigate? Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. That's true. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A Omega. nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Of all places. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. Oh, that's it a long the time. It's important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Sounds like you. Who says that? Why the special name? So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, mm. you are dead. I can see why she's this dangerous. definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings, 
They will do anything for her favor. Let's, uh, let's go get her. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. Oh. Okay. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. Uh... I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Damn. That's do not pity me. Dark. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. You know what? It's so nice, Samara, like Asari. Ha they live such a long life that they get to experience life like a lot longer for us humans we don't know we might die in our 80s even when we get to our 80s we're all like fiddly bones and can't really do much sucks i wish we can i wish not we i wished i can live as long as asari's but in a moment it will take it away that must be been hard we should get back to work sounds terrible i sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Oh. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive no, me. No, you Help have me to talk. find my long lost daughter and kill her. Sometimes you need to talk about it. We'll go find Morinth. It's good to talk about things. Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy. <laughs> Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. Wait, what? I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Uh, we about to die. <laughs> what happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. Aww. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Well, I guess we what have to help you convicted? then. Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. Yeah, so no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. Uh. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Oh. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems. 
but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. I am interested to see her home. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. We'll help. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Of course! Anything Thank for you, you Tali! What you mean? I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. You're my friend, Tali. Why would I not make time for you? So guys, we learned so much on that vessel. Um, to my understanding, that's just me. And if, if it's, I'm wrong, please correct me. That the collector are genetic modified profians that are under control by the Reapers. Yes, uh, from the previous cycle. Collectors are being repurposed by the Harbinger to collect human to collect humans for harvest. Yes, that that's my thought. And their ultimate goal is to uh, make some human reapers. For what reason? I, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I got it correct from what I heard from the vessel. If I'm wrong, please correct me. For that vessel mission, I think I really picked wrong. I think a biotic would be a great choice. Um, just because we're dealing with uh, collectors and stuff. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm dealing with Geth. For some, just some for odd reason, I thought that I was dealing with Geth. And we did not. And it was a wrong choice to bring Dolly. It would be better if I brought Jack or Samara. And the next person I should have picked was Garrus or Asaid, where they have sniper rifles. That would have been a better choice because they can shoot afar. That was my bad, but I still made it, so that's good. But in my next mission, I will finish the layer of the Shadow Broker with Liara. Uh, I think she's one of the person I could recruit to. I believe so, I'm not sure. Um, after that, I will go to Tachanga to deal with Morden and Grunt's loyalty mission and then I'll go down the list and finish off everyone's loyalty mission and all of those videos will be a separate video on its own because Holly video on its own was really good to digest it was n not too long I didn't have to cut everything out so I think more of a positive outcome yeah anyways while you're waiting for my next video please check out my video over there right there till then take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys